Thank you, Rich. John, when I was 34, I was coaching Ricky Clark over here in 1981. <laughs> uh, I'd like to introduce my staff first, and uh, uh, two of the three assistant coaches have uh, connections to Howie. And uh, you'd be surprised how many times uh, Howie's name comes up in conversation at, at uh, some of our meetings and uh, uh, practices and stuff. But uh, Johnny Kidd was a great point guard at uh, at Central, uh, Anthony Latina, assistant coach at uh, Central, and uh, we all know Drew Schubert played at Sacred Heart uh, a couple years back. We also have a connection with Hartford, where Brian Boliak's brother is at Sacred Heart here this year. But we have uh, uh, our two co-captains and uh, one of our uh, projected starters with us today, and uh, the two co-captains, uh, Nick Greenback or Stan Delari. I'm hoping to hear stand up. Don't be as lazy as your coach. Get out of the chair when they introduce the thing. <laughs> I'm hoping for a couple of record setting uh, this year. And and, uh, and uh, Nick is in graduate school. Uh, he has already set a record. Uh, uh, he has the highest grade point average ever. For, and I, I've been around a long time. And we've had some very good students and some not so good students. But I, I, I think Nick. Finished with like a 3.9 in his career at Sacred Heart. And Larry, I'm hoping sets the offensive rebounding record this year for us. A single season, he has the makings to do that. We'd like to try to get him to rebound a little bit more defensively. And the third player we have with us, uh, uh, Shane Gibson. Shane, I often tell Shane that he's the second best player to come out of Killingly, Connecticut. I think some of you have been around know who the best player ever at Killing League was, and Tracy Liss. But uh, uh, my friend Bob Pavia mentioned he saw in the paper the other day how I <coughs> said that uh, I not only believe Shane is one of the best offensive players in the NEC, I do believe, and we can expand that, he's one of the best offensive players in New England, and he is one of the best that I've coached. And I, again, I've had a number of good players that uh, played, and uh, this kid is as good offensively as, uh, as anybody we've had. Um, I'm optimistic for this year. We were picked eighth in our league. I think that the, either Tom and Howie and the rest of the league coaches are going to be surprised at what happens with us, or I'm going to be surprised. <laughs> but I think that we have the makings to, to have a good squad this year. And we're looking forward, uh, as usual, to getting the se season uh, underway. Any questions for Coach Mike? I'd like to ask you one day when uh, the name you may know and maybe some of the, the people that have been around a long time ago, Frank Krasowski was a uh, long time football and basketball coach at East Haven where I grew up. And, uh, I asked someone one time that played for him, you know, Frank coached in the 50s. Times change, people change. Would he be able to coach today with the, the, the current athletes? Oh, yeah, he could coach in any era. Obviously, that's something you've been able to do for the years, 34 years. You've seen a lot of changes. What's going to be in being able to coach, whether it was back in the 70s, current players, what have you, as things change? The game the same and the people change, or how do you deal with that? Well, the pants are longer. <laughs> <laughs> game is maybe a little bit faster, I guess. Uh, I, I always believe, though, that the, the good players were good then. Not so good players aren't so good now. And you were a good coach when you had good players. And, uh, and I think it's good to coach, uh, uh, you know, with the players if they don't have the good players. But um, I, I'm, not, I'm not totally convinced that the athlete has changed so much. I mean, I guess on certain levels, and even in college, probably, there's a little bit more parental involvement, which has uh, changed a little bit. But uh, overall, it's still a pretty basic game. You know, my wife says that uh, she thinks that uh, the way the game was played a few years back was more structured like some of the women's teams, and, uh, and now uh, the men's game is a, a little bit uh, less structured. But that's not the case, because I, I do think that uh, 
You know, if you watch the, uh, our teams play, these coaches here, you can see that they've been coached. Some of you know that.